Hello and welcome to this tutorial which contains a quick tip on how to perform multiple checks um, with a single statement. What I mean by multiple checks is say you have a variable and we're going to define one right now. We'll define it so we can use it for example purposes throughout. We'll define our variable as animal and our variable animal will equal dog just for uh, sake of ease. So. Let's say you have this variable, and you want to perform something if this variable is one of a list of variables. So say you want to check to see if the variable is equal to cat, dog, mouse, giraffe, or whale. Let's say you want your animal to equal one of those, and if it does, you want to perform a statement. So, I mean, your statement or that you would be looking for would be something like if animal is equal to one of these things. However, that does not work. Um, that's improper syntax and what you would actually have to do if you're going to be doing it in this sense is then say or animal is equal to dog. I should be using three equal signs still. I'm bad. Anyways, um, or animal is equal to mouse or animal is equal to giraffe or oops turn that thing off um, or animal is equal to whale and you have to surround the whole thing in brackets and there's your statement right there and that is with one two three four five did I count that right yeah that's five checks on a variable Um, we'll bring them all down to make it look prettier. And we can tab, 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 tab. Okay, so that's your if statement right there. Now imagine if you're checking this against 50 different things or more. It could get very tedious to have to repeatedly type out or next condition. It works, so I can say echo true. There is nothing incorrect about this. And we'll echo out true. Um, however, it is not very um, efficient for the coder. Say you're trying to program a website for someone and you're on a deadline, you don't want to be sitting here typing out if statements that are uh, hundreds of parameters that have hundreds of parameters or conditions rather um, that's just not an efficient way to spend your time and so my quick tr tip fixes the need for this what you're going to be doing is making use of an array so we're gonna be called or we're gonna make an array called accepted right here I have a tutorial on arrays if you don't understand this we're just gonna basically define it and what we're gonna do is within this array put all the checks we want to do so we'll put cat we'll put dog we'll put mouse whale and giraffe all the same checks so there is our um, list of accepted animals the type of animals we want to check it against then what you're going to do is use the in array function i n array in array. What this does is it checks to see if the provided string um, is within the provided array. So um, it takes the two parameter parameters. Uh, first one would be animal, second one being accepted, and it will return true or false. So we can say if in array animal accepted um, echo true. 
we'll refresh the page. And you can see we get true. And we'll add on an else statement here. Else echo false. So um, let's change this to dolphin. Say our animal was dolphin. So now we're checking if this animal is in this array in array animal accepted if it is we're just going to say true if it's not we can say false and we can refresh this page see we get false so basically what you've done now is through using this um, an array function and defining an array of all the accepted types you've made it very easy to add on additional parameters to check so now we can go dolphin we can go oh rat let's go pickle pickles an animal um, and just like that you've now added on the extra parameters to check and it's true it's a much quicker way to um, check if or a parameter against a list of them that being said it is slightly less efficient meaning the code takes slightly longer to execute um, however unless you're uh, have a crazy huge massive number of checks it's not going to be noticeably slower so that is to say the amount of time spent is um, or the amount of time saved rather is worth the slightly longer page load um, yeah so I think that's about it for this uh, quick tip tutorial thing uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions please ask me uh, anything you would want to suggest or any tutorials you want to see, feel free to comment or send me a message on YouTube. Thanks for watching.